Hi students, today our new topic is dielectric polarization. So what is dielectric polarization? It is defined as dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric. Okay, it is defined as dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric okay you know if dielectric is placed in electric field if dielectric is placed in electric field here centers of the positive charges and centers of the negative charges are separated just move okay centers of the positive charge centers of the negative charge or it displaces due to this one in each atom dipole moment is developed due to this one in each atom dipole moment is developed okay in the entire dielectric some dipole moment is developed in entire dielectric some dipole moment is developed that a dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric the dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric is called as dielectric polarization for linear isotropic dielectrics for linear isotropic dielectrics dielectric polarization directly proportional to electric field intensity understood dielectric polarization p means dielectric polarization directly proportional to electric field intensity okay now here z it is the generally proportionality constant now it represents the characteristics of dielectric of dielectric understood simply its pronunciation is z okay simply it is electric susceptibility of the dielectric understood now it is the relation what is this one z it is nothing but electric susceptibility of the dielectric it gives the characteristics of dielectric it gives the characteristics of dielectric understood okay so imagine one cube imagine one cube okay it is placed in electric field it is placed in a electric field here on surfaces charge is induced on this surface charge is plus q dash in this surface charge is minus q dash its length is l area is a okay now it is the dipole moment it is normal this one is normal you know dipole moment is equal to charge into length okay dipole length here yeah, dipole length is l so you can you know dipole moment means product of the either of the magnitude of the charge and length of the dipole okay it is dipole moment here volume of this one is volume is equal to al volume is equal to l from the definition of dielectric polarization from the definition of dielectric polarization dielectric polarization dipole moment per unit volume okay dipole moment dipole moment per unit volume okay first of all for our convenient consider one cube of dielectric 
okay it is placed in a electric field due to that one here charge is developed on the surface molecular charges okay so one is positive another one is negative okay in this case dipole moment is qdsl volume is equal to al from the definition of dielectric polarization is what that one di dipole moment per unit volume okay p is equal to q dash l by a dia into l ll cancel q dash by a charge per unit area means it gives the surface charge density it gives the surface charge density that means dielectric polarization is numerically equal to surface charge density understood dielectric polarization is numerically equal to surface charge density in vector form in vector form sigma suffix i is equal to p bar dot n cap what is n cap n cap is the unit vector it represents it is normal to this surface okay along the dipole moment direction along the dipole moment direction understood okay so next topic electric displacement electric displacement see dielectric is placed inside of the electric field it is positive plate this is negative plate it is applied field okay here charge is induced understood okay this one is negative surface uh, negative surface charge density this one is positive this one is positive here induced one is this one understood you know sigma sub x i is equal to p bar dot n cap it is applicable for any shape of dielectric it is applicable for any shape of dielectric okay from this one net dielectric field is equal to you write as e not minus e sub x i e not is applied e sub x i is induced you know this one okay so it write as sigma not by epsilon not minus sigma sub x i i by epsilon not you know this equation okay electric field in density is equal to surface charge density by free space permittivity okay e is equal to sigma not minus sigma sub x i by epsilon not epsilon not is taking this side epsilon not into e is equal to sigma not minus sigma sub x i understood in vector form in vector form in vector form epsilon not e bar dot n cap okay is equal to sigma not minus you know sigma sub x i is equal to p bar dot n cap it is taking this side sigma not is equal to epsilon not e bar dot n cap it is taking this one plus p bar dot n cap now here sigma not is equal to epsilon not e bar plus p bar dot n cap sigma not is equal to epsilon not e bar plus p bar dot n cap now this one is electric displacement that one is electric displacement d bar is equal to write as epsilon not e bar plus p bar this one is electric displacement sigma not is equal to you write as d bar dot n cap sigma not is equal to here d bar dot n cap understood you know this one relation okay dielectric is placed here inside of the electric field so based on that one net dielectric field is equal to e not minus e sub x i substituting finally d bar is equal to epsilon not e bar plus p bar understood okay now in any other medium 
in any other medium you know d is equal to sigma naught it is divided with permittivity multiplied with permittivity sigma naught by epsilon gives the e epsilon epsilon e you know k is equal to epsilon by epsilon naught you know this one epsilon is equal to k epsilon naught substituting here d is equal to okay epsilon means k epsilon naught into e k epsilon naught into e what is d epsilon naught e plus p is equal to k epsilon naught into e understood epsilon naught e plus p is equal to k epsilon naught into e you know p is equal to electric susceptibility into electric field intensity okay epsilon naught e plus is equal to k epsilon naught into e understood okay it is taking this side if uh, susceptibility into e is equal to k epsilon naught e minus epsilon naught into e okay now here common one is e k epsilon naught minus sorry for our convenient i write it here is equal to here epsilon naught e is common remaining one k minus 1 e e cancel epsilon naught into k minus 1 in any other medium understood electric susceptibility of dielectric is equal to free space permittivity into dielectric constant minus 1 dielectric constant minus 1 it is the relation understood okay next one is dielectric strength for example you consider one balloon okay you consider one balloon here force is applied on this one force is applied on that one gradually its size is decreases if force is more if in case force is more at sudden force automatically it's broken okay automatically it's broken okay similarly if applied electric field intensity is increases if applied electric field is increases at sudden electric field intensity dielectric in dielectric okay in dielectric electrons are detached from the dielectric atoms electrons are detached from the dielectric atoms understood okay due to high electric field intensity okay if in case here applied electric field is increases electrons in the atoms of the dielectric are detached ah detached understood it comes to outside it comes to outside understood on that case dielectric will be act as a conductor in that case dielectric will be act as a conductor understood yet certain electric field intensity this will happen so that electric field intensity is nothing but dielectric strength understood that electric field intensity is nothing but dielectric strength okay now for air for air its value is 3 into 10 to the power of 6 volt per meter for air dielectric strength is 3 into 10 to the power of 6 volt per meter understood okay